how to trade euro usd what is price action done today and where will it be going into the future hello everyone welcome to the next video and before we get into this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you're not new please subscribe to my channel as well and also like and comment on this video to let me know that you're liking and enjoying the videos and if you have any other suggestions on what you want me to cover then please let me know in the comments so let's just jump straight into the charts and get on with this daily review so the time right now is 24 minutes past two i'm doing quite an early daily review today because i've already taken two trades i took a two longs one was a loss and one was a win and let's just go through the two trades that i've taken so as you can see on the screen this is off the four hour chart and basically what i'm trying to what what i'm trying to play is the four hour narrative so the higher time frame narrative what direction sh should we be trading and in this case we are bearish we have the, uh, a bearish swing breaker structure right here and once we do get a breaker structure it will show us our swing range and where we should be trading in between so in this case it's bearish and we have our two supply levels up here and i'm waiting for price to reach these levels to take the higher the the higher time frame narrative which would be to pull up into the discount hit one of the supply levels and then should get our um, entry model to take out the weak swing low so that is the that is my higher time frame narrative and what i'm trying to play i'm playing the higher higher time frame narrative ideas and i am playing the 15 minute pois so we have so four hour swing structure is bearish and then we have the 15 minute swing structure is bearish as well so here we have our 50 our swing um our strong swing level up here and our 15 minutes strong a uh, week level down here and then the internal structure is bullish so what we can do is is we can play the four hour pullback which you can see on the 15 minute time frame and we can we can buy up to the discount area the four hour before it comes down and that's what i did today so here was my 15 minute demand level right here as you can see here just here and once price did hit my 15 minute demand level i dropped down to the one minute time frame and i was looking for my entry model so you can see the two trades i got here this first one here was my minus one loss and what i look for is as soon as price touches the 15 minute demand i drop down to the one minute time frame for my entry model so as you can see here basically what i look for the first thing i look for is a strong liquidation so i have price hit this level here bounced again so that's clear equals and what i was waiting for is price to take out that strong liquidation to then look for to then get into the trade to proceed with the move up but price to, price had a strong liquidation once you've um, got a strong liquidation, you want to find the point before the liquidation. The point before the liquidation is the buy to sell the, 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 the nearest demand level um, that took that liquidation out. And that was right here. As you can see, we have the we have the buy to sell before it took it out. So I marked that area there. Price come up and it broke it by a fractal level and this is a mistake that i made and what you should wait for is a clear candle closure above this pbl for it to be confirmed and i i went off the wick um, which is quite aggressive and then once you once you think that the pbl has failed you what what level um what level what what demand level broke um that pbl in this case it broke it fractally but it wasn't enough to take a trade but the, I took the most extreme demand level that done that and that's where I was looking to trade off of and it just blasted straight for it so that was my that was my loss just there so the trade is still valid the trade when the trade is unvalid it will if it once it breaks through the 15 minutes of demand level so if price 
broke this level here and come down, then I wouldn't be looking for any more trades. But because it come down here and it was moving in here fine, I have to see this all again because basically the PBL there did its job. If price, if price come down to here to this demand level and then pushed up like that, then the trade would be valid. But you know, the, the, the PBL did its job, it made a new lower low. So we have to look for everything all over again. So you wanna look for a strong liquidation again, then the point for liquidation, and then you wanna find your demand level. So then I got my strong liquidation here. So price come down, hit this level. We got a nice push up, come down again. We got a nice minute push up there. So that got taken out and I was happy to class that as a strong liquidation. I then, so this, this is quite messy price action right here. So there's not really a clear buy to sell it to get out. Well, there is one, there is one right here, but you know, I thought that's, it's just a bit too close and a bit too aggressive and there's too much going on there. So I took the, I took the sell, I took the buy to sell leg instead this time. So here we have the buy to sell leg that took that liquidation out. So there it is our, I didn't take the whole thing because I just um, refined it down to this level here. So I had my PBL, PBL box here, price come up. We had a nice strong reaction off the PBL. So here's the first reaction here, comes down, pushes up, and there is a clear candle closure above that PBL box above the point before liquidation. And what, you, what I did was, is you take the first reaction to the bottom of the reaction, that is your demand level that you take a trade of. But that is quite a big area. So as you can see, I refined it down to this level here. I made sure I covered the low, but I refined it to this pivot point right here. And then that was confirmation for the trade. Once I got this break, once I got this, once I got the break, Candle closed up here. As you can see, once that candle closed up here, I set my alert and set my trade. And that was it. I got a minus one on that trade and a plus five on this trade. So everything I do now is completely mechanical. I wait for exactly what I'm looking for. And if I get what I want, then I'm taking the trade. Because this is a counter swing, tri a counter swing trade. So the swing trend is bearish we're playing the internal we're, we're playing the internal um structure up into the into the um premium i leave my all my trades at one to five um, if i'm if i'm counter trending then it's one to five and if i'm pro trend then it's one to ten so i took a one to five on that trade and currently price is at our first if we go to 50 minute currently right now price is at our this is, a, this is an internal break structure, so that needs to be changed. This is eternal um, 50 minute IBOS. Our low is now here. So where our internal strong level was there, it's now here. So we're following internal bullish order flow. So here's the internal strong. We've now, we're now getting that pullback from the supply level. So now we can have, we can add our weak swing high. Turn a week, but also we're not in a discount. We're not in the discount on the fifteen. We're not in the discount on the fifteen minute yet. Well, it's just below it. But this is a this is obviously a very big area where banks pushed in and pushed the price down. So this is a this is a possible area that price could reverse. So move down to the one minute. So yeah. So here we go. Price. So this. Right here, look, we've got these, we've got this massive liquidity building up right here. Price is now made of, has broke this low. That's a, a, a one minute um, internal break of structure. So what I want price to do now, if we was going to take this trade, we want price to come up, take out this liquidity here. And then when price does take this out, it would leave us a demand level that took it out. The point before the liquidation, we want to see that fail and then We'll get into another trade so that is the end of the daily review um 
if this trade does play out, then I'll review it in tomorrow's video. But um, as always, if you have any questions, please put them in the Discord group. Remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to like and comment on this video. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's daily review.